everybody. Good, 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 good day. Good Monday. It's a messy Monday. We do messy Mondays, terrific Tuesdays, wild Wednesdays, and throwback Thursdays, and Freaky Fridays right here on the Showbiz Top 5. And as soon as I get 12,000 subscribers, the name will be changed, but you will still be the PT Punches. Welcome to the show, everybody. Boy, 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 it's another hot, gonna be another hot week, but baby, you know what? I've been in, I went inside the stores the other day, child, they're getting ready for the, the school, so you know, they got the coats out, so it'll be cold but soon, y'all be talking, oh, it's too cold, I'll be glad when they get hot, I know God is sick of us, I know the Lord is sick of us, <laughs> he's like, y'all want it to be hot, then you want it to be cold, you don't know what you want it to be, but I do, I know I want to give y'all some entertainment news and gossip. Now on the show today's show, y'all, we are definitely going to be talking about Snoop Dogg. There's an update with him and somebody's an accomplice with him, allegedly. And then we're also going to talk about the young lady, they call her Miss Hollow. She wanted to do all that cussing and stuff. I have a video, an update on her. And of course, we're going to talk about the cop who killed an 18-year-old over a water gun there in New York. And we're going to talk about, of course, the preacher who was robbed. I got a video to show you. And of course, number one, prayers go out to the brat and Judy. Um, let's get right to it. Mm. This is the second cup that I picked up. And the first cup was dripping. Now look like this is dripping. <laughs> We're living in the last days. Let me let me let me, let me tell y'all something. I'm about to head to New Orleans this week. A friend of mine, uh, my friend's birthday. Uh, we're celebrating his birthday. He's never been to New Orleans, so I'm going to turn up. I'm going to go like I ain't never been there and show him the best time of his life. Uh, the Lord is good. We got some little $45 rooms at the Marriott, so we're good. Yes, honey, so I'm so excited. Uh, so I'll be, you know, going live. Y'all know how I do, child. So I'm going to be doing a show today, Monday. I'll do a show Tuesday. I'll do a show Wednesday. Now, Thursday, I'll try to upload something while I'm in Houston before I head off to New Orleans, okay? Then we'll just hang out Friday and Saturday, okay? We'll go to some neat places, and I'll show you some good seafood. And I might go by the casino and put a little couple of dollars in, see if I can win some big coins. Speaking of big coins, y'all, before I get into this number five mess with Snoop, y'all, I'm telling y'all, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to take my $20, and I'm going to get this mega million ticket. If you want to get in on this pool, you better send me $3. That's all you got to send me is $3. I'm already going to buy the ticket. If you want to get in, you get in. If you don't, if we win, don't be talking about, oh, PT, I'm a puncher. Don't mean nothing. You ain't getting none of this money. Let's talk about Snoop. Here's a picture of Snoop Dogg. I don't know if y'all remember this, but right back during, before the Super Bowl, Super Bowl went down, uh, there was some sexual allegations that was going around against him, not only him, but of course, Bishop Don Juan. Well, it kind of just like went away. Then all of a sudden it just came back, you know, well, it's come back. It's come back to hunt him. And this time their names have been, I don't think the last time they, uh, I don't, yeah, they did. They did. They said their names, but this time they say they apparently have evidence. Like they really got something this time. You see what I'm saying? They say they really, really got something that's going to stick. Now, y'all know this is the third time to the rodeo. We all love us some Uncle Snoop. I don't know anything about Bishop Don Juan. I know that him and Lunell hangs out and stuff like that. They're friends. But I don't know anything about him. But you know, y'all, this would be really sad that if this is all about money. Look what happened to Don Lemon. You know, he was accused of, you know, finally with somebody. But all of a sudden, you don't hear nothing else about it because they dropped the case. But they say they got evidence and they say it's going to stick. Prayers go out to the woman and prayers go out to <laughs> Snoop and, 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 and uh, Bishop Don Juan because Charlie may just be all a lie. But we'll see. But it seems like they may be going to court unless they settle out. All right, so we'll keep you posted on there. Let's talk about, I believe they call her Miss Holla. Well, she's an internet sensation, guys. And I asked, I asked y'all the other day on the internet, in the community page. Thank y'all for be responding back to me in the internet in the community page. I say, is it true that this, she that she has cancer? Well, um, I, I I don't know if she has cancer, but I know she's in the hospital. I mean, I have a couple of videos I'm going to show you guys. Then we show these videos uh, when we come back. We'll talk. Tell about you this. what, I know a way you won't even have to do radiation. Yeah. Try a holistic route. What, what did she say? Holistic. Who's oh, Don't talk. I, 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 I still love you guys. 
keep on praying for me. Uh, whatever you want to say, I'll uh, everybody ask you silly. <laughs> no, don't play me. I'm not the one, number one. Okay, I'm not. You have it. Seems like to be a really, really fun lady. And I, I think she said, from what I remember, she didn't mean to come out. She didn't, wasn't trying to be a celebrity. It just happened for her. But we're praying for her, man. You know, she's lived a long time. You know, people keep them when they say, oh, prayers go, prayers go out to my granny. My granny died. You know, well, girl, how old was your granny? 99. Well, she lived a long damn time. You know, my mother's in her late 70s and my mother make it to 80. Hell, that's a long time. 90s is a long time. Some people don't make it to 30. My mother's mother died in her 40s, I believe. You know, people die young. Some people die older. So to me, it's just a blessing to live past 70. You know what I mean? 80 is really a blessing. 90, you know you're on your way out here. <laughs> Unless the Lord come back before the end. So we'll pray for that, that, that the lady man and that the guy. She said, y'all pray for her and stuff. Y'all pray for her. Just ask the God to give her, you know, peace. She seems like to be a really funny lady. I wish God would give her more time on this earth. I would like to see her do some stand-up comedy. Maybe somebody could help her. Oh, she she don't really need to do no stand-up. Y'all y'all pay to go see her live just to cuss for herself. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, y'all, we're going to pray for her and hopefully everything works out for her. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about, of course, this cop who killed an 18-year-old in New York City. Roll the clip. Let's see. Police say 18-year-old Raymond Chalouisant was shot and killed Thursday morning around 1.30. They found him with a gunshot wound to the face in the passenger seat of this car at Grand Concourse in East Tremont. His shocked mother spoke to him an hour before and shares the last thing he said to her. I love you, Mom. Police sources say Chalouisant and friends may have been shooting off gel pellets out of what's called an Orbeez gun in the area of the Cross Bronx Expressway and Morris Avenue. An off-duty correction officer, they say, was allegedly struck in the back and, not knowing what hit him, returned fire. That officer, 45-year-old Dion Middleton, is now charged with murder, manslaughter. Middleton works as a firearms instructor, allegedly never reported what happened and went to work. The Department of Corrections says this officer will be immediately suspended without pay, and if the charges are true, he will face the full consequences of the law and be terminated. Justice for Raymond! Friends and family gathered outside Raymond's apartment building Friday. They say he loved his family and was an uncle. He died on my son's birthday. He was with his friends. He was always about his friends, always about love, always about showing people love. Police say there have been several recent incidents locally and nationally linked to a TikTok challenge where people with these gel guns shoot at random people and post it. Raymond's family and friends insist that's not what this was. Because he wasn't involved with that. The NYPD tweeted this warning about bead blasters that shoot gel water beads propelled by a spring-loaded air pump, making them an air rifle. Air rifles are a violation in New York City and are unlawful to possess. Everyone here is just in disbelief. They say they keep expecting him to walk outside. He was going. It would never be another one of him. I'm so sorry. I mean, 18-year-old for murder, for water. In the Bronx, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Man, this TikTok stuff, all this stuff that's going around, man, you got to be careful, y'all. Because, you know, and then some of these police officers, some some people, not just police officers, just people in general, but mostly cops, the bad ones. They're always doing too much. How the hell are you going to not know that this is a play gun? And then you're going to show up for work? <sighs> rest in peace. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right. Speaking of resting in peace, baby, I know this man could not preach. He could not, not only preach, but probably couldn't even sleep after this happened. Now, this show the show the picture of this this minister right here. He's out of um, he's out of New York City. Uh, his church is in the Bronx. And can I tell y'all something? I, I got two videos I want to show y'all. Uh, uh, um. Uh, of this, this 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 preacher. Uh first of all, he's my type of preacher. Oh baby, he's a little guitar down, Gucci down, oh drives a Rolls Royce. Oh, I live for him. And I'm gonna make sure he sees this video to let him know. Well maybe if, I don't know how you feel about the gays, but he's definitely my type of pastor. And I would definitely be up under his leadership, depending. But um let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip of him in, in his car first 
Then I'm going to show y'all what happened. Well, I may put it all together. Grace and peace from me and my princess. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Listen, come out and meet us at church. We at 922 Rimson Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11236. 930 we start. Sunday's off for of church. Come on out and worship with us, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Let's praise Jesus today. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's what the word of God says. God bless you. So we have to come back on because, you know, it was technical difficulty. Somebody called and it just went haywire. But um, I just want y'all to know, thank you for your prayers as Instagram. Come on back. Um, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everything that you've been doing. Um, and um, I thank God that we're here. Me and my family is OK. Um, listen, if y'all have any information, inbox me. If you have any information, inbox me. If you have any. Right. <laughs> if you have any information, please inbox me. Um, any information. Uh, my church is in Canarsie, Brooklyn. It was three to four armed men, black men. Um, I'm hearing a lot already about them. But um, um, they was in a CLA Mercedes Benz. Um, we already have the license plate number. Um, so if you have any information, if you have any information, inbox me. Um, the city is has random stops right now. The city is on the lookout. Um, and I want you guys, if you have any, any information, please inbox me, inbox me, inbox me. If you're any of the young men that I know that are in the streets, you know, the streets are going to talk. Inbox me, inbox me. Amen. Hey, Osby, I'm going to call you, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna call you. Um, it's my brother Osby Berry. Um, hey Lisa, how you doing? Um, listen, y'all inbox me if y'all have any information. If you hear anything, um, if you hear anything, please inbox me. Inbox me. Inbox me. Um, these young men will be brought to justice. Um, and um, just know that if you are a faith believer, if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you should be upset. Because they came into the house of the Lord where we worship. They come into that. They came into the house of the Lord where we worship, and they violated. They violated. We we're not we're not we're not out rapping. We're not out um, um, cursing um, cursing, and we're not out. Um, we're not we're not gang banging. We're not doing any of that. We they, there's no reason for you to come inside of a church. There's no reason for you to come inside of a church to violate a church. There's no reason. There's no reason. So um, I just want y'all to understand that I'm stronger now. And, and let me tell y'all something. I don't have a problem with my pastor wearing Louis Vuitton. I don't have a problem with my pastor driving a Bentley and a Rolls Royce. And he's right. This man already told everybody, bring my mic over here. He had already told everybody that he, you know, he had a pass. So what? We all got a pass. I'm telling you, I live for this man. There's a preacher in my hometown right now. He's got a bad, bad background, but the man can go. He can preach. He can sing. He made a mistake, but I still believe that he's called by God, you know, and, and he struggles every day, every week, every, like you and I, you know, but this preacher right here, Lamore, I believe I have his name right, L-A-M-R, Mr. Whitehead, I'm living for you. If I ever come to New York, this depends though, because you know, you might not live for the gays, but... This gay likes you. I live for everything that you, I, I like the way you dress. I like the way you preach. And I'm glad that you did what you did to save your congregation because it could, it could have got out of hand. And I'm not for sure by the time you guys see this video, maybe they caught them. I don't know. Maybe they didn't. So we'll see. But anyway, I'm glad everything's okay. And again, uh, get you some security. You listen, y'all, we're living in some perilous times. These times ain't like they used to be. We should have learned what and then let me tell y'all something. I hate the fact that everybody is only thing they was really said of blamed that pastor. Y'all don't say that about Joel Osteen, the white pastor. Joel Osteen, he might not have on uh Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Prada, but y'all know he got coin. Hello. That one ring that Joel Osteen got on his finger, it's a lot of money. No shade to the pastor. But it might be more than what the pastor got in a hole in his bank. I could be wrong. Because I like my pastor. That's my that's my New York pastor. I like him. But 
you gonna have to get security, security, and I ain't talking about no security. You gonna have some. You gonna have to. Maybe you might have to buzz the folks in the church. <laughs> you might. We're living in a different time now, so I'm just glad everybody's safe. Glad everybody's good. And who knows? Maybe one day if I go to Brooklyn, I'm no one thing. His church gonna be popular now. See, God, everything happened for a reason. I won't say God did that for a reason, but I say sometimes when the devil, for those who believe in the devil, when the devil tries to make things out to be bad, the Lord will turn around and make it to something good. Who knows? Maybe he can maybe he can have a reality show. You know? There you go. See what I'm saying? If he can have more money. Yeah. So anyway, so there you have it. There is the story about the pastor getting robbed. We're going to move on. We're going to talk about, of course, the one and only, the brat and her girl, her wifey, Judy. Well, guys, uh, we have some sad news. Oh, man, I hate this. Now, you know, I have an on and off love-hate relationship for the brat. She doesn't know me. I don't know her. But, you know, I know her and Gary work together. You know, Gary's my sister, so I'm always have Gary's back. And I'm still kind of jade and upset that she didn't invite my sister to the wedding. Gary not, but, you know. <laughs> but when it comes to stories like this, you know, you have to put that kind of stuff to the side and be like, you know, I hate that this happened because Brad was told by her doctor some sad news. I'm going to roll a clip. And once I roll a clip, we'll talk about it when I come back. Roll the clip. Well, guys, I was not able to show the video. I forgot. It's copyrighted from WeTV. You can definitely catch the Brad and Judy on WeTV. Well, what Brad was telling them was... She got some bad news from the doctor that she's not going to be able to carry the baby uh, because she has some type of um, tumors or something or something on her, allegedly something that that wouldn't be good. So, yeah, that, that's what it is, and that's sad. So let's move on. There you have it. So, you know, I always say this. My advice to Brad and Judy is, uh, you know, adoption. There's so many kids out there, and I understand that you want your own child come from your own body, but so many children out there who 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 want to be adopted and who want to be loved and need a family, you know. Um, it may be kind of different because they are rich, and not because they're rich, but they're very famous. And depending on what age they get them. If you get somebody at 16 and 17 or maybe 7 and 8, they already pretty much know who they are. If they don't, they will know who they are when they come pick them up in the Bentley, <laughs> you know, in the Rolls Royce or whatever. So, prayers go out to Brad, man. I hope I hope things work out uh, for them. I'm loving the show. They have a really good show. And, um, um, again, prayers go out to them. Hopefully, everything works out for them, y'all, because, you know, everybody wants... Not everybody, but a lot of people want children. Do I want children? I did at one time. I just didn't want to put it in. You know, I just wanted. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do all that, putting it in and all that stuff, child. I just wanted to, you know, here, girl, put this in a cup and put it in your stuff. How you doing? <laughs> ah! One time, one time, my mama, she took me to impregnate this girl, but it didn't happen, child. Let me get out of here before I get myself in trouble. I love y'all and thanks for tuning in. And uh and uh Darnell, I'm coming to uh at to not Atlanta. I'm coming to uh New Orleans and your ass better be there. I know you leaving Friday, but we're gonna hook up Thursday when I get there. All right, guys, I'm PT with all the latest entertainment news and gossip. And by the way, I do all of my editing and all my sound and music, okay? So if you enjoy my content. PayPal, Cash App, and everything else is listed in my description and everything else is below. I love y'all. Have a beautiful, beautiful, messy, messy Monday. Make sure you share this video. Let's make it go viral.